Welcome back. It is the touchline here on Y254. Robert Osoro is my name. And today I'm hanging out with one of Nairobi's favorite sons. I think from those songs you already know who I'm talking about. Francis Amisi. Frasha is in the studio here with us. Frasha, how are you doing? I'm good, mother. Yeah. Sante sana kwa invite yako. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time. It's been a long, long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to be young when you were coming out. But yeah. now I'm older. <laughs> Why is that? Why Why is that? that? <laughs> yes. And also we are joined by Yunus Iraqi here in studio with us. And they are going to talk about one of Nairobi's exciting events. They are going to talk about our city, what is happening in our city. And they have something to tell us on everything that we are going to tell us. Yunus Iraqi, welcome to Y254. The first time we are meeting. How are you Thank doing? Thank you. Good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, you're doing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're doing very great. Yes. Ah, that is great. Welcome to the city under the sun. And we are here to talk about everything that is happening under the sun. And you are one guy who wants to celebrate Nairobi City. Why yeah. do you want to celebrate Nairobi City? Because Nairobi is a beautiful city. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's uh, so beautiful. You have so many beautiful places for runners, yeah. uh, like uh, Karura, Arboretum. Orolua, mm -hmm. even estate areas that yeah. are really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the city run, Nairobi run, yeah. is the celebration of the city yeah. and the celebration of the runners. Uh -huh. So this is how we are doing it. And we are contributing also to, the, to a cause in the city, yeah. which is Kibera 7. Yeah. Uh -huh. One thing that, uh, Frasha, you've come here for is Nairobi run. Yeah. And we want to know, what is Nairobi run? Um, Nairobi Run is a celebration of the city. Yeah. Uh, we are celebrating runners, we are celebrating the beauty of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Kanairo. 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 <laughs> yeah. uh, but because we live here, we don't see the beauty of, of Nairobi. Uh, yes. There are so many beautiful places that we mm -hmm. can go yeah. run. And what uh, I say anytime you COVID, also, yes. uh, it's good to keep fit, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's not, uh, the run It's not about elite runners, it's yes. a celebration of just normal runners, people like me and you. Yeah. What on a Vitambi, I'm going to talk at him. Yes. I can be a kidogo at him within a uh, short uh, place. Yeah. And that's what, uh, that's what it is. And yeah. also the, the Nairobi run, as no, it is on the 14th and 15th mm -hmm. of August. Yeah. And um, there's no time, there's no gathering, there's mm -hmm. no medal. Uh, mm -hmm. We're celebrating everybody. Yeah. Uh, if you register, you get a t shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, 500 people get a medal. So yeah. I think. It's a, it's a new concept that yeah. uh, personally I, I liked it from the beginning um, yeah. and you know I've been supporting it. Yeah. yeah. Well Nairobi is one of the beautiful cities. If actually you look at the aerial view of Nairobi you've got to enjoy it. If you travel all over the world even when you are watching movies there are those iconic buildings, there are those iconic places when you just look at them you can see I know that is Nairobi. Yeah. I can realize that is Joe Bug, yeah. th that is Budapest and all that. I know you're bringing this to Nairobi. What is that motivation? What, what, what motivated you to say, we want to celebrate Nairobi? Well, actually, we are doing Nairobi, yeah. we are doing Mombasa, ah. we are celebrating all the cities, mm -hmm. the major cities of Kenya. Yes. So we are starting with Nairobi, mm -hmm. but then we are moving to Mombasa, where we have also beautiful places. It's, mm -hmm. it's, I mean, Kenya is beautiful. If you travel, you will see how beautiful, I mean, you know it. Yes. Yes. So it's very beautiful. Yeah. And when you come from abroad, uh, I mean, it shows even more because you are not used to it. You don't see it every day. Yes. When, like, for example, Nairobi, mm -hmm. uh, when I talk about Karura, when I talk about Arboretum, when I talk about Ololua, yes. I mean, a lot of these places, mm -hmm. even people in Nairobi, they don't know them very well. Uh -huh. That's you, you, you very see, true. Like, even yeah. with the company, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the people, there are some places they didn't go to uh, mm -hmm. before because you are yeah. used to it, you pass mm -hmm. next to it. Yes. But when you go inside and you see how beautiful it is, uh -huh. it's really nice. So that's what we are doing with the concepts. Mm -hmm. We are featuring these places, yes. we are showing it, like mm -hmm. all of them, and yeah. we are even asking whoever register or just go to our website yes. to recommend other places. Uh -huh. And we keep on discovering new yes. places. One thing that you have actually brought out of this is that you are not going to the athletics way where we yeah. usually close the roads, we run around Thika yeah. Road or Nyayo yeah. and all that. But you are going to Aboretum, you are going to Karura Forest and all that. Why did you go to those places? Um, as you said, this run is not for elite runners. Yeah. Ni, ni run ya watu wa kawaida. Uh -huh. um, and so 
we went to places where people run normally. Yeah. So, for example, there are people who are running in Runda Estate, uh -huh. you know, and yes. they have a nice place to run. Uh -huh. um, the other thing I think uh, Yones also has not said is that we have one of the best weather mm -hmm. in, in the we whole world, the you know, um, yeah. and we don't celebrate it. We don't celebrate it. It's normal. Yeah. But, you know, that is something in other countries that it's hard to be found. Mm -hmm. The temperatures for running in our countries are very uh, good temperatures. Yeah. And I think where I come from, my background is I'm a physiotherapist. Yes. And, and because of my background, I know the, the importance of actually doing exercises. Mm -hmm. And so these places that we have that uh, people are running in, they yeah. are normal places where groups run, because mm -hmm. we have many groups that are, have joined the run, yeah. mm -hmm. that come there and, and run. So I think it's important. The routes were given by the, actually the runners who are uh -huh. uh, in, in the run. Yeah. yeah. So these are like running clubs that are out there now you're bringing yes. them onto the limelight and everything yeah. i think mm -hmm. one of the things the audience would like to know is how do you register so yeah. that you can participate in the run yeah so to register it's very simple you go to the website www.nairobi.run and you click on the button uh, register and then you follow all the steps it's very simple you just need to visit www.nairobi.run so this is how people register yeah. I just want to add one thing, uh, maybe we didn't talk uh, enough about it, when we said we celebrate the city of Nairobi, it's not only the place, places we, we, we talked about, we yes. have other places, and the runners groups are organizing some runs, like in Tigoni, uh, we have like David Tuo, he's organizing a run, uh, small group in, um, in uh, Karen Waterfront. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Douglas Wakihuri, yes. who is really one of the legends. You s we talked about uh, like the elite runners. Yes. I mean, that's the first Olympic medalist of, of, uh, of Kenya, yeah. world champion of so many places. He's a legend. Yeah. And he's also part of it, and he's helping us, um, helping us a lot. Mm -hmm. And he will be running in Gong Road Sanctuary Forest. Uh -huh. yes. So uh, other places, I, I mean, we have a list of all the groups. I mean, I just want to mention all the runners groups, maybe, uh -huh, so yes. that uh, to acknowledge, uh, I mean, uh, all of them who are yeah. part. So mm -hmm. we successfully managed to have most of the runners groups with us. So we have Team Jashu, uh, I mean, he's one of the most famous groups, runners groups in, in Nairobi. Yeah. They will be running in Arboretum. Uh, we have um, Wakimbuzi, also mm -hmm. they will be running in um, uh, in another place yes. uh, we have uh, uh, the, the like hash harriers who will be organizing also a run yeah. in another place we have uh, uh, tipwa tipwa mm -hmm. uh, who are also with us actually they were with us on tv uh, you know, on kbc too yeah. uh, we have urban suarez who are also organizing a run we have the swamp runners and we have even some runners because we are celebrating the runners yeah. and anyone who is active in the running uh, exactly, so yeah. that we feature them in our website, we feature them in our social media, and we allow people to get to know about them mm -hmm. and reach out to them directly. Okay. So we have, for example, Katara Wawa, if you know her, yeah. like she's a famous runner, she draws things while she, uh, with her itinerary while she runs, yeah. uh, so she will be also running, I think, in, in, um, in uh, Karura. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Kenya Running Diva. Who yeah. also will be, I mean, and, and it's gone, and we have also celebrities yeah. like Fresh. Yeah. Yeah. I was waiting, I was waiting. <laughs> yeah. 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 For your group. Team yeah. Gubwa, yeah. Team Gubwa, Team Gubwa. And actually, we came here yes. like, with shorts and everything, and we are going okay. yeah. straight to Karura uh, yeah. to run and walk. Uh, actually, for Nairobi Run, you can even walk if you want. So, because it's not about, it's not a competition, it's a yeah. fun run. Yeah. We have, I uh, forgot to name them, like Women Run and Walk Group. Also, they are, they, are, they are with us and they will be participating. Yeah. I, um, I cannot see where exactly, but I can, <laughs> I'll take my glasses. Just the glasses on, <laughs> then you can see. But okay. just they a will quick be in one. Karura, yes. yes. Uh, so a, a quick one that we are going to tell you right now. We are actually having one minute to the 100 meters it won, and Marco Tiono, the Kenyan, has, is not on the starting list of that one, and it's actually because of doping. He had uh, requested for his sample B to be tested. It has been tested and is not in that one. So Marco Tieno is out of the 100 meters hit in the Olympic teams. It's not our Olympic year, but what can we do? It is the rules, and Marco Tieno is out of that one. But we are still here on the touchline. Robert Rosoro, Maxwell is not here with us today, but I'm hanging out with the Yones Iraqi Action Marketing Plus. 
and Frasha Nimkali himself is actually in the studio and he's talking about his own team. Team Kubwa is team in Nairobi. <laughs> team Kubwa. Um, I have a team, it's called uh, Team Frasha. Mm -hmm. uh, we normally practice on Saturdays at 2 p.m. So yeah. after here, we're heading straight to Karura. Um, and basically, my my team, Nanata Kuomba Watu Wapale Inje Wakuja It's very yes. bad. Uh, my team is very small, but uh, I'm hoping to get new uh, new guys and new members um, to show these other guys, uh, you know, what we can be able to do. So, again, get up on Kuja to Kimbia. What are Kuja to Kimbia? Yeah, I cut you short there when we were talking about other teams that are actually in this yes. competition. So. It is happening on different Nairobi yeah. places yeah. on the two days of 14th and 15th. Yes. And at the same time. Well, actually, uh, I mean, we would have loved to have like different places uh -huh. happening with the start and the finish. But, yes. you know, with COVID, uh -huh. I mean, that's why we, from the beginning, yes. since we are doing this in COVID, we are not having any large gathering uh -huh. in any place and in any time. Yeah. And that's why the Nairobi run was designed this year this way. Yeah. So it's over time. So it's mm -hmm. a weekend. And we are even considering extending a few more days mm -hmm. so that uh, people can even run this Monday or Tuesday yes. and still be part of Nairobi run. Mm -hmm. And we have like a lot of locations. You know, we have the places that we have listed. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's happening in so many like uh, places. I'll, I'll tell you the. I, I, couldn't say all the names. Yes. It's uh, Lower Kabete, so ah, we'll have okay. Wakim Buzi there. Okay. Hash Harriers will be in Parak Club. Mm -hmm. We have some people who registered, and they, are, and they will be running in South B Bypass. Uh, it's really almost everywhere, like Tigoni, Swamp Runners will be in Tigoni. Mm -hmm. Uh, David too would be in current waterfront, and anyone can run anywhere. So it's not like they, it's not mandatory to run in these places, and the fact that it will be spread in all these places spread over a weekend yeah. and spread over the hours of the weekend. So each time it will be just a small group or yeah. someone running alone. So the, yes. what we are doing is that you register, you can run anywhere. Our object objective yeah. is to have people spread. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, running yes. over this weekend, uh, there is no start, no finish, there is no distance. It's really a fun run. It's about enjoying running. And when you say fresh air, it's all about fun. How do you make this event fun? Because Nairobi, as we know it, we are fun people. We come out to have fun when yeah. we want to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, first of all, it's incorporating more uh, celebrities in the in the run. Yes. And uh, sensitizing people on, you know, it's it's good to stay healthy. But yes. Apart from that, uh, anywhere, anybody who knows me and anywhere I am, ni mali pa shere. Yes. Ato akifunga to So yes. the shere that we will be doing this time is walking, networking, mm -hmm. you know, running. And because of the, the rules that we have right now, we cannot, you know, go all out and, yes. and make it very uh, the fun that we, we are used to. Yeah. So we, we are limiting it and also uh, sensitizing people more. Mm -hmm. But also something else that, uh, that the reason why I also got involved with the, with the run is because of the charity bit of it. Because uh -huh, part, yes. part, part of, the, uh, of the proceeds go to, to supporting uh, a, a charity uh, school. Uh, it's called uh, Kibera Seven. Kibera Seven. Kibera Seven. Yes. Um, which is a school in Kibera. So mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of charity with my foundation, Fraser Foundation. So yes. I saw it um, nice for me to be able to get into something that uh, helps me become healthy and also helps me give back to the society. Yeah. So for for me, uh, for the organizers, uh, I think that was a brilliant idea of coming up with how we can impact our our own society yes. as we mm -hmm. help our also uh, our health. Kibera 7, is it yeah. a primary or secondary school? Oh, it's primary school. Uh -huh. So actually, it's not only a school. Yeah. Uh, so uh, just to give you an idea why we got involved with Kibera 7. Yeah. So Douglas Wakihuri yes. has been helping us, and he has, uh, he's still helping us. I mean, really involved, helping yeah. us promoting the event. Mm -hmm. And he is involved with Kibera 7. Uh -huh. So that's, okay. that's a project that he is helping yes. uh, financially and with time. Mm -hmm. And Kibera 7, they have uh, a school, mm -hmm. and they have a running. Uh -huh. uh, club also. Yes. So the school they have about I was there like two days ago with Santos yeah. who is managing it, and uh, and uh, they are like uh, having about 170, little less than 170 kids yeah. that they take care of. Yeah. Uh, they are like uh, I mean they, they for the for the school and they have this running club where they try to identify potential 
uh, runners with yes. Douglas Wacky who are being involved. Mm -hmm. So we are helping them. And not only this, so we will also be featuring them. Mm -hmm. And uh, even if people don't register to Nairobi Run, they will be able to help them directly. So we will mm -hmm. publish this uh, in the coming days in our social media and we will yeah. promote it mm -hmm. to make sure Kibera 7 is, well, is, uh, is known. Yeah. And people can reach out to them directly and help them. You, they don't need to register on Nairobi Run yeah. to help them. You, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, uh, they can even contact them directly. So yeah. that's what we'll be publishing. Uh, soon, and hopefully they will get, uh, I mean, some uh, uh, some help because yeah. they need it. Mm -hmm. They are doing a great job helping kids. They are also feeding every Saturday. They do like today. They do a feeding program where they they are very often obliged to limit the number of kids that they feed. Okay. So that's. Uh, that's uh, that's really a nice project. Yeah, so. a, a big one there, and it is the first time that Nairobi Run is coming to Nairobi. This mm -hmm. will be the first event for Nairobi Run. So on the weekend of 14 and 15, that will be next Saturday and Sunday. You wanna have fun? Nairobi Run is something you wanna go to. It is www.nairobirun.com. Uh, dot run. Dot, dot run. run. <laughs> but you can, <laughs> even if you type Nairobi run dot com, yes. it goes to the same place. It goes so to the same. So yeah. that's where you can get Nairobi run. First event, first uh, on 14th or 15th. But fresh, will it be happening all the time or just one off event or will it be happening again? Yeah, this, this is the first time we're doing it. Um, but uh, I know it's going to be every year. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm hoping so. Um, <laughs> yes. So we can, we can, you know, because we've already gotten people that are involved and mm -hmm. because this is the first time and we're limited a lot with the, with the COVID rules. Yes. Hopefully by next year, um, if we behave well, we can be able to do a better event. Yes. Sensitive area there when it comes to the COVID-19 yeah. and the protocols yes. when it comes to yeah. COVID-19. Yeah. How are you dealing with that? So we are like very strict about it. We are following the, re the recommendations of the authorities, like Ministry of Health, Ministry of Sport. Mm -hmm. It's on our website mm -hmm. uh, with all the details mm -hmm. and all the runners will have yeah. to, 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 to follow this. I mean, this is not a joke, it's COVID, so we have to be careful. Mm. and we have to follow uh, the government uh, instructions yes so people will run with social distancing they will have face uh, masks mm -hmm. and uh, we are following the rules and we are making it clear yeah. we will be even in our social media posting about it also to make sure that we we would love to see everyone following yeah. this and the fact that we are not organizing one large gathering mm -hmm. that's also a good thing because people will be running in mm -hmm. small groups so it will be easier yeah. or alone yeah well big one there, Nairobi run that will be coming away on the 14th and 15th of August 2019. Robert Rosoro here for the Touchline Union's Iraqi Action Marketing Plus is here with us to talk about Nairobi run and also and I've got fresh also <laughs> in the studio. My director is telling me that I've said 2019. 2019. <laughs> 2021. <laughs> well, I think it's because of this Olympics <laughs> and everything that is happening there. I hear that Marco Tiano has actually appealed and is waiting for that decision to come. So let's expect that sample B of his test will be the correct one and he'll be representing Kenya on the 100 meters run. New Zealand have won the women's rugby gold medal after defeating France 26-5 in that one. So most of the updates of what is happening in the Olympics will be giving you that one and will be telling you all that is happening. But we are still hanging out here with the Frasher and Younes and we are talking about Nairobi run and everything that is going to happen on that weekend. Fun and activity is what people usually come out for. And this one coming out as this one. What makes this different, Russia? Um, first of all, for me, I think it's, it, it has been a difficult time uh, having COVID, you know, yes. doing events. Yes. And uh, the fact that we've been able to separate people, um, the fact that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we've been able to get different uh, groups to, to run and, you know, work together, I think it's, it's different in a lot of ways, um, yeah. the, the run itself. Again, there's no competition. Mm -hmm. There's no time that you're supposed to gather around. You can run on your own time. Yes. Uh, there's no particular place that you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So the, the run in itself, the way it is, uh, it's been packaged, I think it's, it's a totally different new, uh, new idea. Jonas, if I was to ask you one place in Nairobi that is your favorite, which one will it be? 
Oh, that's a tricky question. <laughs> that's a tricky question. Yeah. There are a lot of places. Uh -huh. I mean, I can. There are a lot of places I, I like. I mean, I don't want to upset some people by <laughs> yes. saying this one or this one. Uh -huh. But uh, I mean, it's really all of them are beautiful. The place I go often, yeah. uh, but it's because it's more convenient for me. You, you know, it's Karura. Karura is a beautiful forest. I mean, yes. it's, uh, but I've been to other places. You yeah. know, I don't even know the name. I went with the Hash Harriers. Mm -hmm to uh, run with them, like two weeks ago on Sunday, we went to Juja. Yes. And we went 10 kilometers off-road. Mm -hmm. And we end up in a place so beautiful. And I, I cannot even tell you what's the name of the place, because uh, it's, I think it doesn't have a specific name. Yes. <laughs> for mm -hmm. But it's so beautiful. And we yeah. spent an amazing day, mm -hmm. a really very nice day. A lot of places. You know, it's difficult to say this one. You have Arboretum, you have Ololua, mm -hmm. which is really wonderful. You have even some estate areas that are really beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Frasha, mm. when in Kenya, you have been yeah. here, you have grown in Nairobi and everything. What is it about Nairobi that you don't want to leave Nairobi? Um, I think, first of all, it's, uh, it's the people. Uh, the, there's, a, there's a strong will of the people, the spirit of the people in Nairobi. Yeah. I think that ma makes it a bit unique. And also because, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the city under the sun. Um, yes. Mm. I'm telling you, the weather in Nairobi is sometimes you complain yes. it's cold, but if you go into other places, you realize that one of the biggest blessings that we have in Nairobi is, is the weather. Yeah. Um, also, something that I'd, I'd want to add on, on to what uh, Jonas has just said, I think our country is very beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Personally, I've, I've worked with him, I've mm. gone with him, I've traveled with him around uh, Kenya, and we've been to very beautiful places yes. mm -hmm. that personally been uh, you know having grown in Kenya I've not even thought mm -hmm. of visiting and you know me I'm just an example there are a lot of people that have not been able to travel cuz yetu ni jioni tupata Nepal kwa base tucheze mabjaba nini nini so it's it's time for us to dis uh, start discovering our own yeah. um, our own city there are people who live in Isili ama Madare hawana time ya kuja Karura but if yes. if we start you know, telling guys, it's it's about time you just talk about Taani, Tembea Mali, discover your your town, discover mm -hmm. the new places, yes. the nice places that are there in this uh, city. I think uh, people will be amazed by how beautiful Nairobi is. It's actually a very big challenge to any Kenyan outside there because it is our city, and actually it is true that many people don't know their city. And I can t give you a secret. Many people pass through Nairobi Museum, but they have never actually gone to Nairobi Museum. Arboretum. People pass through there, but they have never mm. gone into that place. So mm. this is a chance for you to go outside there and actually enjoy Nairobi Run. First, repeat for us registration and everything, yeah. and people know that yes. they are going to participate in this one. And how will people know that this is Nairobi Run outside there when the others are running? Uh, they will see them with the T-shirts, Nairobi Run T-shirts. Yeah. Actually, when you register, yeah. you get a T-shirt, like a runner T-shirt. I mean, this is the one we are wearing. So it's a polyester and rice knit. So it's really made for runners. Yeah. So it's a good quality T-shirt. And once you run and you upload your run details on the website, and as Frasha said, it's not important, like the time, the distance. Okay, yes. You feel it, you can just put an estimate. You don't even need to monitor it and prove it or whatever. What is What counts is the beautiful picture of the place you're running so that you can show this to the community this is my place this is the place i run yes. and everyone will be posting a beautiful picture so it's mm -hmm. completely new concepts different yes. concepts of the run. i just want to add one thing okay because um, we were talking about the beauty of kenya the beauty of the the, the places yeah. the, we said that we are not doing only nairobi run yes we will do mombasa run mm -hmm. we will do uh, Kisumu, Kisumu run, we will do Machakos run, mm -hmm. we will do Diani run, mm -hmm. we will do Eldoret run. Mm -hmm. And we travel to all these places together like yes. with Frasha. I mean, mm -hmm. it has been very helpful. We, went, we met with the runners there. We went like Bamburi. Mm -hmm. We went to in Kisumu to the places where people run. We mm -hmm. went to Eldoret looking for places, what are the beautiful places. So we did yes. all this before starting Nairobi run. Mm -hmm. And our objective at the, uh, after yes. is uh, it's not only have Nairobi people discover the beautiful places of Nairobi yeah. is to have all the runners community or walkers whoever is in, interested in participating yeah. to go and discover even the other cities because even the other cities they have some beautiful places to, sh to show yeah. Machakos we went yeah. to a forest that was so amazing mm -hmm. you, you remember the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, and the I've been I, I, I'm, I'm born in Machakos and yeah. 
The place is close to where I, where yeah. I come from, but yeah. I've never gone there. Yeah. So <laughs> yes. I think it is important for people yeah. to start uh, so discovering. We visited, and even from the people of the company who are here, yes. I mean, there are places they didn't know about. Mm -hmm. Because when you are used to it and you pass next to it, yeah. uh, as you said, it also, with this we'll be able to feature it. And hopefully people will be traveling from one city to the other. Mm -hmm. And hopefully this COVID will be over <laughs> soon, yes. and we'll have start and finish, and uh, it will be so that people again can enjoy running together. Uh, but uh, big one there. Yeah. Finally, Frasher, any new songs we should be waiting for? Um, <laughs> man, I've been out of the studio for the last four years. Uh, P unit, we took a break uh, from music. Yeah. Um, uh, let's say something might be developing. Tungojet one. But at the end of the day, Nairobi Rad is what is happening. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Well, we have been hanging out with the Frasher here in the studio with for Nairobi Run and Junior Siraki. Also, we came here to talk about Nairobi Run and everything that is happening. Let's go for a short commercial break. When we come back, we'll be talking some matters, rugby and everything that is happening there. And also, we got fans on and transfers and rumors on everything that is happening in the world of football. It is the touchline Y254. I'm Robert Osoro.